Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Miguel Isaguirre. I'm from originally born in Honduras and uh, was raised in Miami, Florida, but now I consider myself a Los Angelian for sure. And uh, I'm an actor. <laughs> La verdad, yo no sé qué haríamos sin ti, Darío. Esto hace que esto sea más fácil. Cuando se trata de ti, es mi placer. Pero, ¿sabes? Nadie me dice Darío. ¿Cómo te dicen? Diablo. How I became um, to be an actor professionally, I joined a acting class in Miami where our goal was to have a showcase here in LA to present our skill to um, managers and agents for potential representation. I moved to LA, um, I got in contact with all those people that were interested in representing me and auditioning at studio lots for every role that I would go to, for me it was like a potential life-changing role that I could, I could book, you know? And from there on, it's about developing your skill and a numbers game. Just uh, keep auditioning and auditioning and auditioning and eventually the role that you're fit for will come to you. Además, there were all these little kids walking around in the car. Me puse a pensar que venían aquí a visitar a sus madres. That's very depressing. Orange is the New Black is an amazing show on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, we're on season six. Season seven is about to premiere in the next year around summer. It's a show about women in prison and their struggles and how they overcome certain injustice or certain. Uh, in prison issues or political issues outside of the prison and um, it's a fascinating show you gotta check it out <laughs> i played diablo um, one of the boyfriends to uh, one of the inmates blanca on the show i was introduced uh, primarily as a backstory of her previously being incarcerated and slowly our characters started developing more and i'm now brought into present time where um, visiting Blanca at jail and talking about a future together outside of prison, and um, it's a fascinating experience. Yo estaba ahí enfrente cuando pasó todo eso de la riot. No nos querían decir nada. Te quiero mucho. Diablo. So yeah, life in prison can be a huge situation to overcome for somebody in jail. Fortunately, my character isn't incarcerated, but I'm in a relationship with somebody who is. So my struggles are trying to, you know, overcome those challenges as far as how do I keep in contact with the love of my life? How do I uh, see a positive end to such a negative situation? And um, that's something that I had to take into consideration as I was preparing for the role. Fortunately also, I have a lot of uh, backstory scenes as well. So uh, a lot of positive moments prior to her being imprisoned, which allowed me to uh, develop that, you know, love that we have uh, between each other in our relationship. Yo voy a salir de aquí, vamos a estar juntos, tú vas a ver. Yo quiero que tú tengas mi bebé, un diablito. My advice to Latinos or just anybody in general who wants to be a part of this industry is to first be comfortable with yourself. Be confident in yourself, embrace. If you have an accent, embrace it because that's your uniqueness. That's who you are and that's what you bring to the table. Whenever you audition for a role, you know, you are a real person. Once you do that, uh, once you're confident in yourself, I think from there, everything else that you want to bring to fruition into your life, you will manifest. Bueno, nos vemos.